What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Animator tutorial for you. So today's video is a really quick video. Um, it's kind of in preparation for more videos in this series. I wanted to teach you how to install the plugin that you need in order to export videos in Animator so that they're actually videos and not a series of still images. So as we continue this animations and SketchUp series, I'm going to be making all the example files available um, for for this series at the sketchupessentials.com slash animation. So if you want to follow along, make sure you check that out there. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the ways that we're going to be able to create animations with the extension animator is by using the export function. And so the way this is going to work, and I'm going to walk you through creating this animation a little bit later this week, but I wanted to have this video out there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an animation that gives you kind of a walk through into a house. Well, um, when you ex when you want to export this inside of animator, um, if you haven't set it up properly, you're not going to be able to actually export this to a video file. When you use animator and you click on the button for generate a video for the film, what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to look like this. So you've got different options for different kinds of videos that you can export. However, if you haven't set this up properly, this is going to look a little bit different. And first of all, I apologize a little bit because I can't make this not look like this now that Animator has found this file. So you should only have to do this once. I was not able to revert this so I could actually show you the process. And so to find the instructions for this, and I will link to this in the notes down below, but if you go to the animator page on Sketchication and you click on the more info button, that's going to load up the animator forum on Sketchication. And if you click on this very first button under topics, there's going to be a forum post that has information on this. So if you go down here to um, FFMPEG, this is going to give you information on how to download and install this. And that's going to allow you to download this instructions file. And what the instructions file is going to do is the instructions file is going to give you instructions on where to find this um, this plugin and so what you want to do is you want to follow the link inside of this file so you just click on this ffmpeg.org and that's going to take you to this web page which is where you can download this and you can mouse over either the Mac or the Windows and you can find the Windows exe files so if you click on this button right here for Windows builds and then you go down here, this is going to give you an option to download the build. So that's going to be under architecture and then pick your operating system and click on the button for download build. And that'll download a zip file that's going to contain the file that you need. And then within that zip file, it's going to download this FFmpeg folder and you're going to extract that using whatever or whatever uh, whatever utility you have for that. So I think you can download WinRAR uh, or WinRAR if you have to or I also have an extract all option right here. And so you're going to extract this folder. When you extract that, when you extract that, then you want to double click in here. You want to double click on it again and there's going to be a folder for bin. And so the only file you need to worry about is this ffmpeg.exe file. So you just want to take that. And what I usually do is I put it in my plugins folder, but you just want to right click on this and you want to copy that and find whatever folder you want to put that in. So for me, that's going to be my SketchUp plugins folder. You can really put it wherever you want on your PC, but this makes it easy to find. And I'm just going to paste that exe file in there. And then what you're going to do is if we go back for just a second, if we go back to this instructions file and scroll down, you can see how what that's going to tell us to do, and you can follow all the instructions in this PDF file, is there's going to be an option in here for find FFmpeg program. So that's what's going to show up inside of your animator if you haven't found that. So you can just click on the button for find, and then you just want to go find that file wherever you put it, and double click on it. And so what that's going to do is that's going to open that up within Animator and that's then going to install or that's going to be able to use that codec file in order to export different kinds of videos. So again, just very simple process. Um, if you don't have FFmpeg and it's just giving you an option for an images sequence, you want to go download that file. You want to open it up within the bin folder. There's an FFmpeg file that you want to copy to your plugins folder and then you just want to locate that 
by clicking the find button and then finding that exe file and then once you do that you'll have the option to export all of these different formats so just follow the steps contained in that pdf file that you can download that's probably the easiest way to do this so that's where I'm going to end this video. As always, be careful when you're moving files around in your computer um, so that you don't break anything or anything like that. That one's kind of going to be up to you. So make sure that you follow the instructions step by step and don't move anything else around. Or we'll continue our series on creating animations inside of SketchUp later this week, but I wanted to make sure you had instructions on how to get this installed so that you can actually export video files. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys